hello guys welcome to another quant network video today we'll be talking about everything that happened in the q1 of 2019 my name is philip and here is investors vibe please if you are interested in cryptocurrencies update and reviews please subscribe to my channel for future updates thank you so let's look at the price how how it has been for the first quarter of 2019 the year started with quant trading around two dollars giving it a market cap of somewhere around 20 million and the lowest it has been this year is about one dollars and 19 cents yes i remember and it has also been trading as far as about five dollars giving it a market cap of somewhere around 50 million dollars and also today is trading somewhere around three dollars and eight cents so a market cap of around 30 million right now that is how it's trading for but let's also talk about other developments that happened as except from the price uh, the price of the token let's talk about developments of the technology as well as uh partnerships and the first quarter has been very good if the subsequent uh quarters turns out to be the same then this year will be amazing for quant network it has had many partnerships and collaborations with other industry leading projects so that's a plus for everyone who is interested in quant network so that's it uh they got listed on idex digifinex and some few other exchanges in the first quarter of 2019 but let's talk about other developments like when they got uh appointed as the guarantor of paid uk i've made a video about this one so this i'm not just going to go into details to talk about every aspect of the partnerships and collaborations i'm just going to talk about uh, just going to give a brief explanation so it's not going to be something that will give you all the info you need but i've made videos about most of these ones so please you can visit my channel and watch those videos to get better understanding so quant network appoint was appointed as a guarantor for pay.uk it's a leading retail payments authority so this was a good one it was the first one we were all so excited after that one they were also accepted into the oracle global startup ecosystem and i have a video about this one as well so this was also a big move because we know this will give them the opportunity to have the potential customers because they can have collaboration with other people that are also members of the global startup ecosystem of the oracle network so that is it and Quant Network is a founding member of INATBA, that is the International Association for Trusted Blockchain Applications. This is a huge one. This is a big one. Because uh, in 2018, around November, we heard that banks like BBVA as well as Banco Santander were all part of this initiative. And when it got announced, then we heard Quant Network is part of it. And it was so exciting. There are many other blockchain projects that are part of this some are low market caps and some are very big market caps like xrp and iota some low market caps like unibright and quant network is somewhere yes it's a low market cap project so there are a lot of upside to go from here so what international association for trusted blockchain applications is going to help create is the standard for blockchain infrastructure as well as i think this will also help in clearing up regulation requirements for blockchain firms so if you are going to start a blockchain project i think this will help create what you need and how you can be compliant with the rules and regulations when it becomes amazon aws partner i think this is also a very exciting one because this can also create the effect that the Oracle global partnerships can cause because it's the same thing, I think so, because if businesses are already members of this one, then it means Quant will have easy access to make partnership with those businesses. So it's a good one and the future looks very bright. So let's hope for the best. You maybe know about Hyperledger, but if you don't, it's an open source collaborative effort created to advance cross industry blockchain technologies. And Quant Network is so a part of this one right now. But this is not so surprising because we all know that Quant Network has had a Hyperledger fabric connector since 2018. So this didn't come as a surprise, but this is also going to help facilitate future 
connectivity between Quant Network and Hyperledger. The last I'm going to talk to you today in this video is about Quant Atlas, interoperable banking through cross-border open banking. This, I haven't, I haven't made a video about this one yet. I'm going to. So if you don't want to miss it, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will get notified when I upload a video. I'm going to make it either today or tomorrow because I think this is very exciting. So we all know the difficulties in sending money from one country to the other. And it's so frustrating. It takes a lot of time. It's expensive. And so this is going to help facilitate easy movement of money from one country to the other i'm going to make a video about this so please stay tuned for the details subscribe hit the notification bell and that will be all and you'll be notified when the video is uploaded also i make videos about quant network as well as other cryptocurrencies that are very exciting so please you can subscribe to my channel for updates as well my name is philip here is investors vibe and thank you for watching the video bye